Originally known as the 21st Nova Corps of the 4th Sector Army, the Galactic Marines was an elite unit of clone troopers led by Jedi General Ki Adi Mundi and Clone Commander Bakara. The specialised soldiers primarily fought in the Earth Rim sieges throughout the Clone Wars. However, during the assault on Mygito, Bakara and his men faithfully executed Order 66. As the Republic crumbled, the unit transitioned into soldiers of the Galactic Empire, becoming known as Imperial Galactic Marines. Welcome to the Kankusan Star Wars Lore Episode 144, The Galactic Marines. Training for the Galactic Marines consisted of three phases. Those were conditioning, underwater and in spaceship boarding, and marksmanship. The intensity and difficulty of each task forced the soldiers into one of the most skilled and prolific units within the ranks of the Republic's Grand Army. Specialising in capturing enemy starships as well as planetary assault, the Galactic Marines were also extremely versatile. Their leader, Bakara, expected only the absolute best from each member, so much so that any soldiers who couldn't match his high standards were reassigned, much to the dismay of Ki Adi Mundi. Consequently, despite their respect for one another, Bakara and the Jedi General maintained a combative relationship. Distinguished by the colours white and purple, which also defined the Kosh UT-80, AT-OT and AT-RT walkers, Galactic Marines wore specialised body armour that was both flexible and durable. The synthetic material, as it was known, protected the troopers from snow, ash and airborne fungus. What's more, it could even absorb limited blaster fire. However, during the Battle of New Bornalex, the Galactic Marines utilised prototype space trooper power suits. Unfortunately, their weapon systems failed. Despite this, the soldiers engaged opposition droid forces in hand-to-hand -hand combat, using the enhanced strength granted to them by their power suits to do so. Because of their actions on New Borna Lakes, the Galactic Marines became one of the Republic's most feared clone military units. During the final stages of the Clone Wars, the Galactic Marines were deployed to Mygito, where they faced a fierce Separatist occupation. However, as Ki Adi Mundi rallied his troops for a pivotal charge, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine issued Order 66. Moments later, realising something was amiss, the Jedi General turned around to face a sea of friendly fire. Ill prepared and overwhelmed, Ki Adi Mundi perished on Mygito, taking three clone lives with him. With the subsequent formation of the Galactic Empire, the unit transitioned into Imperial Galactic Marines. As such, following the Battle of Yavin, they served as sentries in the city of Feed during the Empire Day festivities. However, despite less association, Imperial Marines were still considered to be some of the galaxy's most formidable soldiers. As a result, Staff Sergeant Rofax awarded Imperial soldiers who had fought valiantly on the battlefield with Galactic Marine armour, which would sometimes be painted blue, grey or bright red. However, white soon became the unit's primary colour as the Galactic Marines transitioned into snowtroopers. Now it's time for this week's question. What clone trooper unit is your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to vote for next week's episode by participating in the card poll on screen now. Also, to have your same future lore videos, head on over to thecankersans.com and get voting. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars related content, keep a lock here. To the Kinksans! As for snowtroopers, they were required to secure and maintain the massive and immense technology of Starkiller Base, which spanned the entire planet. To withstand the extreme cold temperatures of the facility, stormtroopers were equipped with cold weather gear that was an advancement of similar equipment worn by shock troops of the Galactic Empire. It consisted of fewer plates than the standard stormtrooper kit, allowing increased movement in difficult snow or icy terrain.